we've got an unexpected merch drop today as in celebration of Ghostbusters 40th anniversary, Culturefly just unveiled a new collector's box. And right now you can pretty much see everything that's inside, but let's go ahead and provide a full breakdown. First up here, we've got a terror dog blanket. It's got the bright red eyes, some unique horn structure, and with this blanket you can cozy up with one half of Gozer's chosen minions. From there we've got this Slimer LED light, which is rather similar to the No Ghost LED light that was included in Culture Fly's Walmart exclusive Ghostbusters box set available earlier this year. Functionality looks to be identical with an LED light placed at the very bottom, illuminating the green spud. Now this one, to me, I think is my favorite of the set. It is a Ghost Trap Bento box. It's got details like the caution striping atop, also the side panels. As well, when you open it up on the inside, there's also a spoon and a fork. But maybe when you spend the last of the petty cash and you grab Chinese food, you don't want to use a spoon and fork. Instead, you want to get your hands on some chopsticks. Well, up next, we have got the Ghostbusters branded chopsticks. I guess somewhat of an unconventional ad, but considering the bento box, this, it makes sense. After that, a staple of pretty much any collector's box, a snapback hat. Talking about the Ghostbusters logo, it's adorning the front there, and it's covered in ectoplasm, or should I say it's dripping green ectoplasm. And that green, it does match the flat bill of the hat. Finally, there is a collector's pin showcasing the tricked out Cadillac, the Ecto-1. Now, in a welcome change, while past similar boxes have served as a retailer exclusive within the United States, this new bundle can be trapped directly from Culturefly's online store. Link to it is down below in the description. The price is at $40, and best yet, shipping is open to fans practically worldwide. Now, what I want to know, are you going to grab one of these collector's boxes? And if so, what is your favorite item inside? Again, me myself, I'm kind of partial to that bento box. Now with that said, that's all I've got for you for this one. As always, subscribe. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters news, check out our Patreon page. A link to that is also down below, and we'll see you right back here next time.